Hey guys, what is going on? We are back and we are doing something a little different today. We're going to be taking a look at the best gun, or in my opinion, the best gun in every single category in Vanguard Season 1 with the mid-season update. This is going to be as of the most recent shotgun nerf update. So if you do agree with anything on this list or you do disagree, make sure you do let me know in the comments below. While you are there as well, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it. It really does help me out. We are still looking for 6,000 subscribers. And if you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. So let's talk about the best gun in every single category here, starting off with the assault rifles. Keep in mind, we will also be doing a little bit of an honorable mention for every sort of category on this list. But to start us off here, we do have my favorite assault rifle in the game, and that is the Automaton. This thing's a monster here. I believe you can get this thing down to about 170 to 180 milliseconds worth of time to kill. It's really, really accurate and a super fun weapon to use, and you have a very large magazine here to complement it, and you can just fire forever with this thing. Our honorable mention would, of course, go to the Cooper Carbine. This thing's like a coin flip. People would probably say that the Cooper Carbine is the best, but again, the Automaton, the Cooper Carbine, it's basically a coin flip. Our attachments do start off with the MX Silencer here for the sound suppression and the accuracy, of course, meaning we are silence when we are firing this thing and we get a little bit of an increase to our accuracy as well which is the horizontal recoil control moving to the zac fa short here this does increase our damage and combined with the magazine attachment which we're about to talk about it does take our damage number to 39 at 759 rpm which gives us about 170 to 180 milliseconds worth of time to kill which is a very very good benchmark to hit in this game Next, in the optic slot, we do have the slate reflector here for a nice clear side picture. Again, an optic is something that you can pick and choose for yourself. In the stock, we do have the Zack Skeletal here for the aim walking movement speed increases, as well as a little bit of aim walking steadiness, which does help with the scopes where we are moving around, as well as a little bit of initial accuracy and recoil. Under barrel, we do have the M1941 hand stop here, a very simple one for accuracy and recoil. Magazine, again, this is what we were talking about previously with an increase to add damage, our bullet velocity, our damage range, our maximum magazine ammo capacity gets pushed to 50 over, I believe, leave 25 by default which is massive as well as a nice little boost to our bullet penetration again 39 damage per bullet at 759 rpm then in the ammo type we do have lengthened here to give us an increase to our bullet velocity of about 30 percent taking our bullet velocity to almost 1400 meters per second which makes it absolutely fantastic for hit detection Rear grip, we do have the fabric grip here for aim down side speed, sprint to fire speed, and an interesting little boost to our hip fire recoil recovery, which is not super useful for an assault rifle, but it is really all about those first two stats. Then in the proficiency, we do go with the tight grip here for accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. This allows us to be a little bit more accurate after we do fire a certain number of bullets. And then we do round this off with the kit in fully loaded here to give us the most amount of starting ammo. Moving to the SMGs here, I believe the well gun is probably the best SMG in the game at the moment. But again, a little bit of a shout out does of course go out to the Type 100. We are going to be taking a look at the Type 100 and the well gun very, very soon to comparing them together. If you do want to see that again, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. I believe with the well gun, this is one of the fastest killing weapons in the game. I can't remember the TTK value off the top of my head, but if you do get a two shot kill with this thing, it's like hundred milliseconds, which is ridiculous because you get that headshot and you get that body shot. This thing just deletes people. In the muzzle slot, we do have the M1929 silencer again for the sound suppression and the accuracy. The barrel is the 320mm SA shrouded for the increase to our horizontal and vertical recoil control, I believe of 45%. We get that flinch resistance as well, which is a nice little boost. But more importantly here, we do get a larger one hit kill area, meaning we do actually get an increased crit zone, giving us a headshot zone of our upper torso as well, which is a really, really nice way to get more kills here, especially with those two shot kills. Optic, we do have the slate reflector here, but again, there is another option that you can go with being the GW03. This is a very nice clear iron sight as well. So if you do play on those close quarters maps, this is probably the one you want to go with. But again, medium distance, you want to go with the slate reflector. Stock, we do have the SA43M pack for the horizontal recoil control increase, as well as a little bit of aim down side speed boost. Again, a very nice attachment. In underbarrel, we do have the M1941 hand stop. Again, accuracy and recoil control. Magazine, a very important one here, giving us the 0.4548 round mags. Again, bullet velocity, range, bullet penetration, and damage, as well as giving us an increase to our vital damage. This does allow us to get that two shot kill. 45, which is the normal damage number, and then increasing that with the vital damage of 67, gives us more than 100 damage. Again, a two shot kill. Then we do have hollow point being able to increase our limb damage. He does increase our potential for getting two shot kills when we do get that limb damage as well. Again, more two shot kills with this thing means more 100 millisecond TTK. Very, very strong here. In the rear group slot, we do have the fabric grip here for an increase to that aim down side speed and that sprint to fire speed. Then we do have the proficiency. We do have gung ho, which does basically remove your sprint to fire speed in this game, which is really, really strong. Being able to get a two shot kill with a weapon that doesn't have sprint to fire speed is really, really broken. In the kit, we do have fully loaded here for the maximum starting ammo. Very, very simple attachment to round this off. The next slot we do have here is the shotgun category and after the most recent nerfs, I still believe the akimbo double barrel is probably the best option in the game to go with. 
And then I believe second, we'd probably go with something like an Einhorn Revolving. I think the combat shotgun's still good, but it's definitely not as good as it used to be. So it's kind of a coin flip with what you want to say your second best gun is here. I do still think that the Akimbo Daryl Barrel is very, very effective. You can miss shots, like you can actually end up missing out on kills you probably would have gotten previously. Inconsistency in shotguns is kind and not ideal. You do want to guarantee as many one or two shot kills up close as possible, but it's, it's, it's nice to see a little bit of a remix here with something like this. Again, we do have the M97 full choke here for a tighter pellet spread. In the barrel, I believe the LJ18 Defender is probably the better option at the moment just to increase that damage as well as giving us that extra damage range we did lose from some of our nerfs the other day. The Sword Off is still good, but I'd never really vibe with this, but I've heard that it is actually better, but gives us that wider pellet spread and a nice boost to our movement speed. So you can pick and choose whatever you prefer here. Optic slot, I do go with the M38 slate two and a half times custom. I don't really think this makes too much of a difference, but it does look cool to have scopes on your shotguns. In the stock, an obvious one is the remove stock for a plus two to our hip fire accuracy as well as sprint fire speed and movement speed. Very, very obvious here. This is really the only one that does give you significant bonuses in the category. Can't take an underbarrel, but we do hate the magazine in the double aught. This does increase our damage range. Then the ammo type, we still kind of want to go with buck and slug just to give us that slug with this. When we do fire two shots from our Akimbo shotgun, this does give us a potential of four slugs to hit the target. And you can do a lot of damage here when we fire both of these weapons. This is very, very good. In the rear grip, we do still have the pine tail grip for an increase to our hip fire accuracy. We do have the Akimbo proficiency again, so we get two of these shotguns. And then of course we do have quick in the kit slot to give us a faster sprint speed. Next, we do have the LMG category and we are going with the Bren here. Now, this is one of those weapons that does have the magazine on top, so it can be a little tricky to see people on your right-hand side, but because you are actually able to get consistent two-shot kills with this thing, this plays a little bit like a marksman rifle despite being an LMG. So basically, you can just walk around with your aim down sight held up most of the time and just two-tap people, which is very, very strong here. A small shout out to be made for the MG42 at being an absolute laser beam and being able to kill people at relatively decent TTK values as well. I think it gets down to 180-ish milliseconds, I believe, off the top of my head, which is still very, very strong. Our attachments do look like this with the Mercury Silencer here for the sound suppression and the recoil control while not reducing our aim down side speed like the MX Silencer. Then we do have the Queen 705mm Royal Barrel for a highly accurate controllable weapon increase to our bullet velocity and damage does not diminish over range. So you can get that two-shot kill across really any distance here. Optic, we do have the G16 two and a half times to give us a very nice clear side picture. Again, we do use this thing like a bit of a marksman rifle, just being able to two tap people from long distance is very strong. Oak and Shield 12B in the stock slot for the horizontal recoil control, as well as a nice boost to our aim down side speed. Underbarrel again, the M1941 handstop recoil control and accuracy. A very important attachment here in the 0.50 BMG 50 round mags does increase our damage number to 50 damage per bullet, meaning we can get that two shot kill very, very easily here. Then the ammo type, we do have lengthened here to increase our bullet velocity to 2,031 meters per second, which is almost like hit scan here, very, very fast. Rear grip, we do have the fabric grip for the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Important to boost these up on LMGs. And then we do have the proficiency, which is brace, which increases our initial accuracy and recoil control, meaning we can get as many two shot kills as possible when we do tap fire this thing. And then we do have the kit, which is fully loaded here, which means we do have more starting ammo. Then we do have another weapon here, which does play very, very similarly to what we did present previously in the G43. Again, this is a marksman rifle and you can two shot people with this thing. It does have a reduced magazine size down to 10, but when you are getting two shot kills and you're just walking around with your aim down sight held up all the time, it really doesn't make too much difference. And you can easily get your first V2 rocket with this thing. This gun is a monster. Try it out if you've not already done so. Again, I'd probably say a shout out to the M1 Garand or the SVT40, but again, you can see here that I've not actually touched them. I think the G43 is just a lot better than the other two, so keep that in mind. Attachments again, the MX Silencer on this thing for the accuracy increase, but there is a comment to be made for a little bit of an L break, just a standard accuracy increase if we don't want to reduce our aim down side speed. We do have the ZP770MM Precision for accuracy and recoil control, as well as a little bit of a boost to our flinch resistance. This does increase our horizontal recoil control by 45%, meaning we can hit as many two taps as we want here. In the optic, we do have the slate reflector, but there is always a shout to be made for the G16 two and a half times for an increase to our recoil control and our accuracy and a bit of more zoom with our scope. In the stock, we do have the Wyvern Skeletal. Again, this is very important for that aim down sight walking speed. Being able to have that aim down sight up all the time and walk around quite quickly is very strong as well. M1941 hand stop. Again, recoil control and accuracy. In the magazine, we do have the 30-06-10 round mag for giving us that increase to our damage, bullet penetration, velocity, and our range. Again, gives us that two-shot kill at pretty much all distances on most maps here. Ammo type, we do have lengthened here to increase our bullet velocity to almost 1,500 meters per second. Again, very fantastic for hit detection. Then we do have the rear grip, which is the fabric grip for the aim down side speed and the sprint to fire speed. 
And then we do have the type group, which is the proficiency for the accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. This probably isn't going to be super relevant, but there's not really a lot of great choices here. So again, type group as well. And then the kit we do have fully loaded here to give us the most amount of starting ammo. Getting two shot kills with this thing while walking around very quickly with your aim down side up most of the time is a very powerful gun. Try this out if you've not already done so. And the last category that we are going to take a look at here today, we're going to skip over the pistols and we're just going to go with the snipers. I don't think the pistols are super relevant in this game. You can get two shot kills with some of them, but we can just talk about the snipers here. And that is the great Renko anti-tank rifle. I believe this is the best sniper in the game for just all round sniping. It's not like a quick scoping god because the aim down sight speed is kind of slow. You probably want to look more towards something like a car 98k maybe for something like that. But then the Gorenko anti-tank rifle, you really can't get a hit marker with this thing. You can just one-shot people. You hit somebody in the leg and I'm pretty sure they're going to die here. This thing is super, super strong. But just standard sniping, you want to aim down sight most of the time with this thing and sort of take up decent positions. Again, we do have the Mercury Silencer here, but you can take an L break as well just for the accuracy increase. In the barrel slot, we do have the 420mm Empress barrel for the highly accurate and controllable weapon. But more importantly, we do get a decent amount of aim down sight speed. A 5% increase is always good. Then in the optic slot, you can just take the standard scope. You don't really have to change this at all. But if you do want to play a little bit more fast paced, you just take a G1M for an aim down sight speed increase and an iron sight. And this thing plays a lot like a marksman rifle. Just getting one shot kills is really, really actually quite strong here. So try this out if you've not already done so. GM1 iron sights are super fun. In the stock, we do have the Zac Custom Precision for an increase to our recoil control in the horizontal variety and an aim down sight speed boost. This is the largest boost to the aim down sight speed, I believe, in this category here. In the underbarrel, we're actually going with the bayonet here because none of these really do too much for us. I don't believe any of this reduces our aim down sight speed or anything like that, but it is certainly a lot of fun to be able to stab people that are up close with the bayonet. In the magazine, don't take anything here. You can either take a three round fast mag for faster reload speed, or you can reduce your aim down sight speed with the seven or the 10 round mag. Then in the ammo type, we do go with just a standard FMJ round. You don't really need the concussive ammo and you don't need the explosive ammo. It is a lot of fun to have people blow up when you do shoot them, but it's kind of unnecessary. And then you do have the rear grip, which is the fabric grip. Again, aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And then we do have the shrouded proficiency, which does increase or decrease our scope glint when we do sort of aim down sight. It does take a little longer for people to see our scope glint. But again, you can take focus as well for a little bit of flinch resistance, but I don't think this actually does too much. Just keep this in mind. And then the kit we do have fully loaded here for the maximum starting ammo. And that is going to be our video here. We're not going to take a look at the pistols like we did mention here. I don't think any of them are super fantastic. The machine pistol is pretty good, but you don't see too much of it. Top break's pretty good too because you can turn that into a little bit of a shotgun. So if you do want to see more of these videos, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. Exciting times coming for Vanguard Season 2, I believe, is going to be coming out on the 14th of February, which is a very, very exciting thing as well. Again, thank you very much for watching this one and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye!